Hello guys and welcome to this video about different parts of speech. Whether you are an elementary, middle or high school student, whether you're learning English as a second language or you just need a refresher, understanding the parts of speech is crucial for effective communication. There are eight parts of speech in English. We have nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions and interjections. Let's take a closer look at each one. Number one, the nouns. Nouns are names. Names of people, names of ideas, uh, names of objects, names of things, names of traits, any name. Naming an object, naming anything is called a noun. So naming a person, a place, an object, or an idea is called a noun. Here are some examples. Chair, dog, happiness, Sarah, Mark. Number two, the pronouns. What are the pronouns? Pronouns are words that are used instead of a noun. Like instead of saying Sarah, I can say she. Instead of saying Mark, I can say he. Instead of saying dog, I can say it. So pronouns are words that take the place of a noun. Examples, he, she, it, they, themselves, any word that replace a noun. Example in a sentence, she is pretty. So instead of saying that Sarah is pretty, I use the pronoun she. So it's a word that replaces a noun. So she is the pronoun. Number three, verbs. Verbs are words that express action, occurrence, or existence. Example, run, eat. So it's an action that you're doing, right? Example in a sentence, I run every day. So where's the action that you're doing here? run. So run is my verb here. Another example for words that express existence is verb to be. She is not here. Where's the word that express the existence that she's not here right now? It's the word is. So is is verb to be. Number four, adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe a noun or a pronoun. Like for example, when I say Sarah is pretty. The word pretty here it's describing who? It's describing Sarah. What part of speech Sarah is? Sarah is a noun. So it's a word that describes a noun. So it's an adjective. Another example, when I say, I love the blue shirt. Is there any description here for a noun? Yes. The word blue is describing the shirt, right? So the word blue here is an adjective. Number five, adverbs. Adverbs are words that describe or modify a verb, an adjective, or other adverbs. Example of an adverb, when I say, Sarah drives slowly. So the word slowly here is describing Sarah or describing the way she drives. It's describing the way she drives because it's describing the verb drives, right? So here it's an adverb because it's describing a verb. Number six, prepositions. Prepositions are words that indicate the relationship between a noun or a pronoun or other words in a sentence. Also, prepositions show the time and the place of something. Examples for prepositions in, on, at, under, with, below, beneath. Example in a sentence, my phone is under the table. So where is the word that shows the place of the phone? It's the word under. It shows the place. So this is a preposition. So this is a preposition because it shows the place of something. Another example, the boy was happy with his new glasses. So where's the word that indicate the relationship between my subject, which is the boy, and the other words in the sentence? It's with. So with is a preposition. Number seven, conjunctions. What are the conjunctions? Conjunctions are words that connect words, phrases, or clauses in a sentence. We have so many types of conjunctions like the coordinating, the subordinating, the correlative conjunctions. Today, we're just going to introduce the word conjunction in general. Conjunctions include and, but, or, because, after, and many, many more. Example in a sentence, I went to school, comma, and I met my friends. So the word and here is joining two sentences together, which is that you went to school and you met your friends. Number eight, interjections. Interjections are words or phrases used to express strong emotions or feelings. Examples of interjections include these were the eight parts of speech that we have in English. By understanding the basic building blocks of language, you'll be able to communicate more effectively and express yourself more clearly. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Assalamu alaikum.